Hello, and thanks for calling. Hey, is this Chris? Yes, I can help. Yeah, hey, Chris. Uh, James Lauber. Uh, Daryl Summers uh, told me to call you. I don't know. You know, he's got that property that you, I guess you're trying to purchase from him. Um, yeah. And, and he wanted he wanted me to give you a call. You know, I, I, I'm looking at the contract, so I'm, I'm in real estate. And um, although I don't do a lot of land uh, contracts, but I guess the, the biggest concern I have on for his part on this is, um, well, first of all, let me ask you, what, what, you, what are you trying to do? You're trying to, uh, I guess, have an option. You're basically trying to do an option, and then while you're doing the option, you're going to see if you can, I guess, sell it for, and make some money on it, which is fine. Um, I guess my my concern is that the you're going to get a free 30-day shot at it because the way this contract's written, you've got the thousand dollar deposit goes um is a uh goes to the title company and then also you can you have your out in that you can say this agreement is subject to valuation of the buyer's financial partner which basically means if the deal falls through you you know there's no money out of your pocket so um in my opinion he shouldn't he shouldn't do that deal because i could just list it for him for 10 grand or whatever and see what happens but if you were going to give him a thousand dollars and actually pay for the option, like a thousand dollars to him personally up front, then I'd say, okay, that might be worth it. Because then if you don't sell it, he's still got a thousand dollars, or you still don't go through with it. But yeah, we've been working following? on this deal for almost a year. This house could have been sold last year. <laughs> you wouldn't even believe right. how long it's been going on. I'm like, this could have been done a long time ago. Um, so right. yeah, that the way that contract is written, we were we were going to buy the property a long time ago, but it's been yeah. so long, you know. It's like, you know, I'm like, I don't even know what's the situation with the house anymore. I haven't been over there in, in nine, ten months. So it's All almost right. been a year since we've been talking about this property. I'm like, this could have been wrapped up. But all we needed was a contract sign. I mean, we can we can move forward with it. But, you know, if it's if you feel like you want to list it or something, I'll say go ahead and list it. You know what I mean? Well, it's not I mean, that I want I don't want to list it. I really don't want any part of it. I'm just <laughs> right. I don't, want, I don't want any no. part of it. But I'm doing exactly. no. this as a favor to him. So I, you know, yeah, I, I understand. Fish, uh, I got a bigger fish out there than this. But, yeah, I know to mess with that little stuff. Yeah, because we just bought a hundred thousand dollar house or a hundred and forty thousand dollar house over here in South County. So I mean, you know, it's really kind of small for us too. And we really, you know, and it's, you know, like I said, I told him I would help him out any way I can. But you know, I mean, we still have to have some type of because I'm not a real estate agent, so I don't, I can't, you know, I can't do anything to help him really without having some kind of agreement in place saying that we're buying a property or something. So that's okay. all it is. I mean. So, you know, either way, if we're going to buy it, it was going to be the same thing. If we were going to uh, flip it to somebody else, it was going to be the same thing. We still have to have something in writing saying that, you know, we have some type of interest in the property, as you know that as being an attorney. So, well, I you know, know that, that's, and, that, and, that's, and that's fine. And, I, and he will, what I'm saying is he'll agree to this, except except for if you just make a couple changes and you tell me what you think. He, he'll agree to this contract, I think. Although I don't know. If, he said something about 5000 or 6000 I don't know what he's talking about there. i, I got to figure out what, what – final number you yeah because uh, yeah that was the hold up last year we originally offered five thousand we could have wrapped this deal up a long time ago but he kept yeah. saying well i really need six because i cut down some trees and that cost me two thousand and you know some more stuff you know it's, it's part of life and i'm like don't spend any more money on that property stop spending money you know i can't tell you that enough you know especially when you know you're ready to sell it for really cheap don't spend money on a property we tell people that all the time we're going to take it as is let us right. deal with whatever issues that come up with that house later. But he wanted to cut some trees down, which cost him about two thousand dollars or something like that. So then that's why we were stuck. And he wanted six thousand, we were offering five thousand, and it went all this time. Then he just woke back up about a couple of weeks ago, saying, "Yeah, we still want to sell." I'm like, "Oh, I thought you sold it by now." I mean, it's been almost a year. <laughs> so this just popped back up on me, and I'm like, "Well, I mean, we're still interested in it." And so you know, but well, it's still, we still never got a contract on it all this time. That was the whole thing that stopped right. this whole process. Well, here's the thing: he'll he. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out what I think he would be more likely to do because if he if he if this doesn't work, it doesn't make any sense for him. What? Because I mean, I'm a realtor and I'd do it dirt cheap and would list it for him. And you you know, when you got it out there, you, you're gonna get more money and basically he'd get more of the profit instead of you. But at the same time, I really don't want to mess with it. But I also want to make sure he's not getting. You know, hoodwink. So here, here exactly. What, what I'm suggesting is, if you do a thousand dollars non-refundable deposit, it goes but directly to be honest to him. with you. Let, let me, let me, let me say, we really don't even. We usually do these deals at a hundred dollars. Just to be honest with you, straight, straight up, we don't really put even a thousand dollars. I just did that to make him feel better. But we don't do. We don't even put this kind of, especially on a little prop. This is a small property. 
and it's right. been open all this time. We can show it and do everything we need to do. We just need something legally that says we have interest in this property before we do any kind of work on it, anything with it. That's the whole thing. I mean, you know, and right. I wouldn't want to put in $1,000 non-refundable down. That would, that would be a deal killer for us because we don't even, you know, it's just not really worth it for the amount of money and the amount of issue for this small property. Like I said, we buy a lot of properties all over St. Louis. Right. So to so even yeah, tie up $1,000. Yeah, you tough guys, but you but if you didn't sell it, you you know then you yeah. So my yeah. my guess is that you have zero intent to actually go through and purchase the property for five thousand. Oh yeah. Unless yeah, you we actually were, we, yeah. Yeah, we were going to buy it. I mean, it's not a problem for us buying it. I mean, we were either going to buy it or either flip it to somebody else. But we can't do any of that without a contract. We can't do anything. We can't even look. Well, I you know, can write up. I don't, well, I can write up. A, I can I can write up the contract like a special sales contract that says you're closing in. Uh, you know, you're closing in how many days and you're paying whatever, 5000 for it, and you just sign a standardized contract instead of this whole marketing deal with all these outs. You know, yeah. it, that's the biggest thing is you got all these outs. you got all these ways to get out of contract, and it's kind of like, well, what, what's the point then? You need, you know, you need yeah. the more solid offer. If you, if you say, I, I'm going to buy it for I would suggest them to, gonna... Yeah. I would suggest them go ahead and list it. You know what I mean? It doesn't make up okay. any difference, to be honest. You know, I mean, being honest with you, it's not worth it for, you know, for right. us to tie up $1,000 and go through all that for a house that's been sitting empty for, I don't know, 20 right. years or something. I mean, we could have right. taken care of this, like I said, last year. This was a, a two-week deal. This could have been wrapped up long back then, but we never got a contract on it. So we can't right. do anything. Once he signs off on it, we're ready to move on it. We get it in, you know, get it in escrow. Tie and, and uh, buy the property, or either flip it to somebody else, or do something with it. But we can't right. do anything with it if we don't have a contract on it, whatsoever. Right. So you know, like I said, this could have been done a long time yeah. ago, and it's been stretched out all, all, almost a year for a thousand yeah. dollar difference in the offer price. But you know, if we say yeah, we can agree on a price, we're ready to go. You know, right. that's that's the whole thing. And I understand what you're saying about you know outs and everything, but it's you know at this point, it's not even really worth it for us to be honest to go through all of that for this deal. I get it. It's just. You know what I mean? It's been vacant for 20 years. You know, it's not like somebody go. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, it's what it is. A house that needs a bunch of work that's been vacant for a long time. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. I mean, right. and and one little piece of paper, if that's the, the deal killer, I would rather let the deal die. You know, it's not. You know, it's not like what's the worst thing that can happen? It'll sit another 20 years. It's already been sitting 20 years for no reason. Just to right. be honest with you. You know, and I'm just right. being no. frank. You know, and I'm not saying that he's right or wrong or anything like that. It's just, you know, when you look at the big picture, it's a lot of hoopla for what for a house that's not even worth a few you know a few thousand dollars right hey i know so, and i know you, i know you deal with bigger deals than this and so do you know i don't even want to deal with it so, but at the same time, so one one little signature gives us the authorization to go ahead and, and buy the property or assign it to somebody else or whatever we're going to do and we can start working on it or he can just list it or do whatever he wants with it that would be our yeah, position I mean, to be honest with you. I, yeah i Probably what he's going to do is probably, I mean, I'm going to recommend he list it just because it's it's really, you're just doing the same thing I'm doing, but I can, you know. I yeah, or we would, we, we would either, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we were planning on buying it, like I said back then. I just don't know the condition of the property now. I haven't been there in over a year. Well, but I'll it, list nevertheless, it. Nevertheless. Either way, I'll list yeah. it. You can still buy it. It's, you know, yeah. you can still buy yeah. it. It's just, uh, yeah. Yeah, we just don't do stuff like that. I mean, when we do them, like I said, we usually put a hundred dollars on a deal and then be done with it. We don't usually do all this five thousand and a thousand down and all. We don't usually do all of this stuff. We just put it under contract, put it in escrow, close the deal in a couple of weeks, and be done with it. That's you know, it's really not that much money, so it's not even like you know, anything major. So I mean, that's what I would suggest. If he wants to list it, list it. If not, he can sign off on it, and we can get the ball rolling. It's totally up to him or whatever okay. you guys decide. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks, Chris. No problem. Thank all you. Right. Mm -hmm. Bye.